Good afternoon, my name is Kenny Frank East. We're here at Morton Steakhouse in Stanford, Connecticut. Today we're gonna to be making some mini cheeseburgers for everybody. Our ingredients this afternoon are gonna be uh, two pounds of ground beef. Here we have uh, three ounces of our tomato sauce. You have a teaspoon of ground pepper, it's black ground pepper. You have a teaspoon of salt. And here we have an ounce of pasteurized eggs. And then we also have like an ounce and a half of oil. Starting with your two pounds of prime beef, you can get that at your local butcher. Um, it's two pounds of 80-20 beef, which means 80% lean beef, 20% fat content. You can get that at any local supermarket. Fairway locally has it here in Stanford. You want to run down there, you guys can grab it at Fairway, or any of your local supermarkets have it as well. Pour in all your ingredients. You can mix all your ingredients together with your hands. You can use tongs if you like. I like to use my hands. This amount of meat right here is for our mini burgers is probably going to make about 14 to 15 mini burgers. They're going to be three ounces each. At home, I always like to use a third of a cup to get a good measurement. You just want to take a third of a cup. It's a regular measuring cup at home. Place that in. Push that down flat. That'll give you a perfect size burger. You could do this at your barbecue at home, you could do it on your broiler at house, whatever you prefer. I like to use the barbecue so you get the flavor of the barbecue at home. Today we're going to be using a broiler. Our broiler here at Morton's is about 800 to 1200 degrees. So there are your three burgers. Here's your Morton and seasoning salt. Here at Morton's we have a seasoning salt which is our house recipe. You can buy our Morton and seasoning salt at any one of our Morton's locations as well as online. Or if you're at home you could use whatever seasoning you like. Salt, pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder, whatever you like. Make sure you guys preheat your grill at home. You always want the grill to be preheated. Cuts down on the cooking time. You can let those cook. Those burgers should take about three minutes to cook on each side. In the meantime, we're going to get our condiments ready. At home, we like to take onions, tomato, a little bit of lettuce. Today, we chopped up some cheddar cheese. Put some cheddar cheese on your burgers as well. I always like to toast my buns. For the mini burgers, you get these little buns. You can get these at any local produce supplier. Again, you get these at Fairway. Just want to take your buns, cut your buns straight through. And so I'm just going to place our buns in the oven. You want to make sure your tomato's thin. You don't have too much tomato. It's overbearing if you put too much tomato on your burger. So you want to slice it thin. If you have 15 burgers, you could probably get away with using two or three of these little plum tomatoes. Clean the skin off your onion on the outside. Cut your end off. And then cut your onion pretty thin as well. We're going to use lettuce. We have our lettuce right here. We took the liberty before of chopping the lettuce up for you. I don't like to cut my lettuce with a knife. I like to rip it by hands. Make the burger a little more personal for everybody at home. Just take your lettuce, break your lettuce up, leave it off to the side. We're going to flip our burgers. Like I said, about three minutes, three and a half minutes on each side for your burger. These burgers are best at medium rare. We're going to let those cook. We're going to flip our buns. Now our burgers are probably cooked at a rare plus, a medium rare. I'm going to add our cheese to these. These are a great appetizer at home before you start your barbecue. For your family and friends, whatever you guys like. They look delicious. They taste great. They're nice and juicy. We like to use little cocktail toothpicks. After our burgers are set, we're going to grab our lettuce, our onion, and our tomato. Place that down. Take a toothpick. Stick the toothpick to the top to hold it together. And there's our Morton's legendary mini burgers. You're going to be the life of the party and a big hit for the neighborhood. Enjoy. Have a great Labor Day, guys.